Feel the electricity in the air button is one minute to go. Oh, a lot, the, there's a lot of stuff hanging on this race. The drama, the tension, the passion. Yeah, we, we know that there's a, there's a lot of drama and a lot of tension in, uh, in this category. The Championship League can change this round. Gabriella has to finish as high as she can to maintain her lead. Whereas Armin is doing everything he can to finish in front to try and take that championship lead from her as uh, Santosh Balakrishnan is off to a slow start for his warm-up lap cart 942 wow looks like they're racing already on their warm-up lap oh well, you know we've always noticed that the juniors are the, definitely the eager category they're always raring to go ready to race this lot see uh, Gabriella's dropped down a spot. She's got to, uh, Ryan, I think, has got to let her through so she can start in third position. Uh, I think we need a signal here for Ryan to, I oh, know they're bunching up now, all looking good. With Ethan uh, Santosh Krishnan. Oh, those are fantastic pictures on the screen there. You see the junior category just lining up, being led and paced by Yo Hong Yang. What a fantastic thing to see him in first place. Cart 126 there on the monitors with the red, white and blue helmet of Amin Nozilan driving the Burrell for Williams Racing. Gabriella Tho, Chio, third place, driving the race cart from Macaray Racing Team. This is the championship. Anything can happen in this championship. Keep your eyes on cart 126, Armin Norzalan and cart 25, Gabriella Cho, the only female driving this weekend. As they're bunched up, it looks like we're gonna have a clean start in this 20 lap race final. And it's a nice clean start, and Hong Yang takes a big lead there as Gabriella tries to dive on the inside of Armin Norzalan around turn one. Armin defends his line really well, trying everything on, his, uh, everything on Hong Yang. Can he do it? Can he take the lead around the back chicane? Nice clean start by these guys. Oh ben, uh, that's a 25 lap race, mate. We've got a 25 lap. It's going to be long. It's going to be hot. Oh, Hong Yang, is not, it's not going to be easy for him. Armin Norzalan is all over the rear end. Let's oh. hope these guys can keep their strength. This is a longer race than they're used to. And look how much speed that Armin Norzalan gets going up the straight there. I think turn one or turn two is going to be his prime position for passing. Looks like Gabriella is dropping back a little bit in third position. She has Ryan Ching all over the back of her. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like 12-year-old Gabriella has quite worked out her uh, technical issues yet. Yeah, it does look like the cart is lacking a lot of speed as she's losing massive amounts of time just within a half a lap. This is not going according to script for the young female driver. Well, Sant uh, uh, Santosh Bella Krishnan having a good fight with Ethan Goodman there. Ethan Goodman doing a fantastic job defending his line. Gabriella going a little bit wide around turn two there. Ryan's trying to do everything he can to dip in the inside of Gabriella. He wants that third position as the leaders head down the back straight entering the stadium complex. Look how much speed Armin Norzalan gets on Hong Yang around the chicane here. Bit of a nudge, nudge, wink, wink around the chicane. He's getting the drift. Head down for optimum aerodynamics. He can't do anything around turn one. And look how wide Hong Yang's making his car. He knows Armin Norzalan is right behind him, but he's not going to give up too easy. And I oh, think, yeah. sorry, I think Armin Norzalan's one of very few drivers that actually tries to pass at that back chicane that we can see on the screen now. Oh yeah, oh mate, Norzalan is definitely a fearless driver. He's been on the back and on the front of Hong Yang all weekend. But if there's anything that Hong Yang has rehearsed over the SKC 2011, it's holding Amin Nozilan behind him. When uh, Gabriella is riding the curves with the chicane here, it's like one wheel is uh, completely lifting off the ground. That must be losing some grip and some time. 
Yeah, well, you know, it's hard to say. It looks like it may not just be the power, but the chassis that is not quite handling right there. But given said that, she just did break the 35 second mark on that last lap with a 34.968, though he's got, she's got Ryan Chung only four tenths of a second, bringing down and lagging. Ryan tries to make it stick. He's really close to the bumper to bumper Ooh. as they come through the complex. He's just hit the brakes there for another lap. Ryan is trying as hard as he can to score that last podium spot. Awesome driving there by Ryan. He knows how to do it. And he's getting so much more speed coming out of the corners. A lot of the drivers are drifting out now. But he's just sticking on the track. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the great thing about the Chung clan, uh, the Chung family here, they've got... They've got four or five drivers in this series, and uh, they're, they're passionate about their racing, and you've seen great improvement from all of the Chung drivers uh, throughout the course of the first half of this year. Armin um, Norzelens at his closest to Hong Yang. He's got to try something soon. It seems like uh, Armin's got a lot faster car going around the corners, around the bends than uh, Hong Yang in the straights. Oh uh, yeah, well, you know, the other interesting thing there about racing is that, uh, you know, once you're behind the wheel of your go-kart, you got your helmet on, it's always just a little bit easier to follow the guy in front of you. As Ryan Chung is on the outside of Gabriella coming into turn five, they're coming through the complex. It's all going on. There's so much pressure coming from the yellow helmets and Ryan Chung, but car 25, Gabriella Chiu still holds it as she crosses into the seventh lap of the race. And the exciting thing about this battle, while these two are fighting, keep an eye on cart 616 with the green helmet, the blue cart, Ethan Goodman. He's taking advantage of this battle, and now he's right up the rear end of Ryan Chung. So this could be a three-way battle for third position. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I mean, when uh, Ethan Goodman comes up to Ryan Chung on the rear, Ryan is going to have to be careful that uh, he doesn't lose another spot while he's trying to take Gabriella and not... Defending properly against Goodman in cart 616. As they're coming through for another lap, and uh, Gabriella's still clocking under the 35 second mark. Last lap of 34.962. And we're not even halfway through the race yet. There's oh, only no. eight laps done out of a lap, 25 lap race. Anything can happen, it's a lot longer. These kids will be exhausted too, so we've got to take into account their arms and their legs, their neck is getting sore right now, so they could lose a lot of time just by losing their strength. Wow, um, Ethan Goodman is determined to close this gap to Ryan Chung. Or maybe if he sits back a little bit and lets uh, Ryan and Gabriella battle it out, that might end in tears, giving Ethan the, the easy way through. Yeah, I mean, for Ryan Chung, uh, he's got to know that it's a long race. They're not even halfway through it yet. And uh, if Gabriella is right on the ball, sharp, and looking to make her cart as wide as possible, maybe uh, Chung should leave here, her alone for a couple of laps and uh, get her while she's got a guard down. It looks like Gabriella's sliding a lot coming into turn five, just at the end of the uh, back straight. Yeah, that's why I was mentioning that I'm not quite sure whether it's the engine or the, the cart is not quite driving correctly. Uh, we can see on the screens that it's not that easy for her to drive that cart hard. Not quite working the way that she wants it to. She's coming around the fish hook now and coming through the chicane, coming back onto the back straight. Full power, hitting 110 kilometers an hour into turn five. Fast right Armin. corner. Armin almost overtook uh, Hong Yang here coming out of turn eight. Look how close they are as they turn around turn one, coming into turn two. Armin's got to try and do something. He's looking on the inside, can't make it stick. Hong Yang driving an awesome race this weekend. Fantastic defending. Battles left, right and center in this class. Battle for first and a battle for third. Uh, fantastic pictures of first and second place. Uh, Hong Yang and I mean New Zealand coming through that fast right sweeper. Uh, looks like a carbon copy of round two, Ben. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, Armin Norzalan is so close through the chicane. He gives a little nudge here and there. Nothing dangerous, but there's millimeters in it, absolute millimeters for this battle for first position. And let's see if Ethan can pick up the pace a bit and try and take advantage of the battle between Gabriello and Ryan, capitalize uh, on that. Uh, definitely, Ethan's probably made a mistake in the last couple of laps. We saw the gap 
to Ryan Chung as low as eight tenths of a second. Now currently on the last lap, 2.3 seconds. So something has gone on with Goodman there, but uh, he's definitely lost a little bit of time. And I noticed Gabriella slightly changed her uh, racing line. She's uh, exiting.